a night of pouring rain and two very, very soaked GIs beneath a solitary tree on an African plain. Happy Pride, everybody. Today I'd like to read a letter from World War II, a letter from a soldier to his lover. It was lost for many years and then found and reprinted in 1953. I'd like to dedicate it today to my mentor, Malcolm, who with his partner met and loved one another for 50 years before their love was legal, before being gay was in any way safe. Thank you for everything you gifted me, for decloaking my shame, and for showing me what love can be at its very best. This is for Malcolm and Anthony. Dear Dave, this is in memory of an anniversary. The anniversary of October the 27th, 1943, when I first heard you sing in North Africa. That song brings memories of the happiest times I have ever known. Memories of a GI show troupe, curtains made from barrage balloons, rehearsals that ran late into the evening, and a handsome boy with a wonderful tenor voice, opening night at a theatre in Canisterre, and perhaps a bit too much muscatel, and someone who understood. Exciting days playing in the beautiful and stately municipal opera house in Oran, a misunderstanding an understanding in the wings just before the opening chorus. Drinks at cock door, dinner at the auberge, a ring and a promise given. The show first armoured, muscatel, scotch, wine, someone who had to be carried from the truck and put to bed in his tent, a night of pouring rain and two very, very soaked GIs beneath a solitary tree on an African plain a borrowed French convertible, a warm sulphur spring, the cool Mediterranean, and a picnic of rations and hot cokes. Two lieutenants who were smart enough to know the score, but not smart enough to realize that we wanted to be alone. A screwball piano player, competition, miserable days and lonely nights, the cold, windy night we crawled through the window of a GI theater and fell asleep on a cot backstage, locked in each other's arms. The shock when we awoke and realised that, miraculously, we hadn't been discovered. A fast drive to a cliff above the sea, pictures taken and a stop amid the purple grapes and cool leaves of a vineyard. The happiness when told we were going home and the misery when we learned that we would not be going together. Fond goodbyes on a secluded beach beneath the star-studded velvet of an African night and the tears that would not stop as I stood atop the seawall and watched your convoy disappear over the horizon. We vowed we'd be together again, back home. But fate knew better. You never got there. And so, Dave, I hope that wherever you are, these memories are as precious to you as they are to me. Good night. Sleep well, my love. Brian Keith.